Hello, hello, and welcome back. I am so excited for today's makeup look. I recently came across this picture of JLo and I thought it was so pretty and perfect timing for Valentine's Day. It's this really pretty pink makeup look that's not necessarily natural, but it's very soft and feminine, romantic, just beautiful and perfect for Valentine's Day. So I wanted to recreate it and show you guys my take on it, so let's go. But also real quick, comment below and tell me what you're doing for Valentine's Day because I love hearing new ideas because I like to try new things. So whether you're going out with your love or you're hanging out with the girls for Valentine's or you're just chilling at home because that's what you prefer to do, whatever you got going on, comment below and let's chat. All right, so we're starting off with the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I really like this one for long-lasting makeup looks. And then you can't do a J.Lo look without making it as glowy as possible. So I'm taking one pump of the L'Oreal Beach Bay Illuminizer and rubbing it all over my skin so that the glow will pop from underneath the foundation. Last step before actual foundation is I'm going in with this Maybelline Brightener. It just helps to cancel out any like darkness under the eyes and just bring extra light where I need it. And now for foundation, I'm using this Maybelline Fit Me Stick. I think it's the shade Porcelain. I'm definitely not as dark as JLo right now. <laughs> in the summer, I can get very dark, but right now I'm very fair skin. So the glow that I put underneath from the Illuminizer helps kind of bronze it up a little bit. And then we'll put in some bronzer later, and as well as the contour. That'll help kind of darken it up, bring more warmth to it. But for now, this is the shade that matches me. So rubbing that in with my fingers because that's what works for me. Now I'm going to be mixing two concealers because this one is more the finish that I like, but it's not quite light enough. So this is the e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer, and then I'm going to put the e.l.f. Camo uh, Matte Concealer on top because this is the one that's actually light enough for me. So just mixing the two so that I can get the shade that I need, but also not have it be quite so matte. All right, now we finally get to do a good J.Lo contour. So going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade Java. This is definitely kind of a warm powder for my fair skin, but it works really well for me and especially for this J.Lo look because I am trying to warm it up and kind of give myself a little bit more darker skin. Um, obviously, it's not going to be like crazy dark <laughs> or anything, but just to help it be a little more warm and glowy for a J.Lo look. And yes, I like to make little duck faces to help me see exactly where I want to blend my contour. Um, so I'm just using a regular like powder brush that I pinch and use that to blend my contour because again, that's just what works for me. Um, but yeah, just blending it, blending it out, not really trying to drag it down or up. I'm really trying to keep it where I placed it. But if I'm going to be blending up or down, I generally tend to blend more upward as you just saw so that I'm not like muddying up my face too bad or dragging things down. And again, right now, this looks like a lot because we haven't put our powder on. Um, I like to do my contour and my blush and bronzer and stuff before I put on the powder because that's what ties everything together and helps it look really blended and seamless and beautiful and the glow from within kind of look that I just love. So because the powder is going to be covering some of this up, you definitely want to put on a little bit extra and don't forget to blend down your neck so it's all blended together. Swirling that same brush I just used for my contour into my bronzer. This is the Physicians Formula bronzer that's got some shimmer to it. And so I'm just applying that to all the places where the sun would hit the face that you would normally put bronzer. Going in with this really pretty peachy pink blush from Wet n Wild. I have all the products linked below. So if you're interested in purchasing anything, check the description box for those links. But I'm just applying this all over my cheeks, you know, focusing on the apples, but dragging it up towards the um, hairline. And then I'm also sweeping it across the nose. I do this with, for my day-to-day -day look anyway, but looking at the picture of JLo, I saw she's got a little pink on her nose too. So it looks like she probably did something similar to this technique. And before putting on powder, I'm just making sure there's no creases under my eye or on my lid because if you set the creases in place, they're going to be set in place. They're going to stay. So you want to make sure you have no creases before you put your powder on so you're not just setting the problem in place. But anyway, this is the Physicians Formula Translucent uh, Loose Mineral Powder. I'm applying it with a spongy thing for underneath my eyes and then I just shake it up real quick to get some powder out and apply the rest of it to my face with the powder brush. Just kind of dotting it on and then blending everything together really well. As you'll see, I'm kind of blending for a while because I'm just making sure everything's really seamless. So it's kind of almost hard to tell where one color starts and stops that everything just looks glowy and perfectly blended. All right, now I'm doing brows. And before I did this, I took a baby wipe and wiped the excess like foundation and powder off of my brows, my 
eyeline area, my lips, and my hairline just because that's not where you want makeup to go. <laughs> but anyway, this is the Maybelline Ultra Slim Brow Pencil. I absolutely love this pencil, but I'm having a hard time finding it, so I'm worried that they're going to discontinue it. So that makes me sad. So if you have any really good brow product recommendations, let me know. But anyway, I normally feel my brows in pretty dark, but on the picture that I saw of JLo, she doesn't really have them in crazy dark. Um... Like, you know, she's got, she's got them pretty squared off, but they're not as dark as I do mine. So trying to go a little more light-handed and making a little more of a squared off brow look. All right, to avoid my shadow creasing, I'm going with the Urban Decay Primer Potion to prime my eyes. And then I'm gonna take the bronzer that we used and just put this in the crease with a regular blending brush. And I'm not using very much, um, just taking a little dab and lightly blending that into the crease. And I don't know why I like bounce back and forth between my eyes when I do this, instead of just focusing on one eye and then moving on to the other. I don't know, it's just, I it, maybe it's my ADHD, I have no idea, but I do that. And then whatever's left over, I will take to contour the bottom of my nose. And then I'm taking the same blush that we used and putting that on top, again, pretty light, not putting on too heavy, but just lightly putting that on. And once again, I'm going, uh, back and forth between the eyes because again, I don't know why I do that. I just do <laughs> So if you like to focus on one eye at a time do that Because um, I can't really tell you why I do it this way Now we're using the ColourPop Smoke and Roses palette and starting with the shade alone I'm taking that same blending brush that we've been using and I'm putting this all over the crease and blending it farther towards the nose Because if you look at the picture of JLo, she's got pink cleared down in that area all the way through the nose and it kind of connects to the under eye so I'm kind of putting this all over the place in the crease and I'm blending it down onto the lid and just blending it all together. And I'm even kind of blending it all the way up to the brow bone. Um, not actually wanting the pink to be there, but just blending it up really well so that again, it's kind of almost hard to tell where the pink starts and stops. Now for the pretty pink shimmer she's got going on, I'm mixing the shades Heartbreaker and On the Edge and taking it with my finger so I can really pack on the color. I'm just rubbing that all over the eyelid and a little bit into the inner corner, but mostly just focusing that all over the lids. Taking the shade alone again with a really thin brush and popping that into the inner corner and to the, like the first inner third of the lower lash line. Then with that same brush, I mixed the two shades on the edge and Heartbreaker again and applying that all over the lower lash line. And you can be pretty generous with this. Uh, put all over the lower lash line and once you've packed on the product, then just take the brush and blend it all out. Finishing the eyeshadow off with the shade Every Rose, just a really pretty light highlight color to pop into the inner corner and gently over the lid just for that little bit of extra shimmer. Then one last sweep with the blending brush because in the picture of JLo, it's blended so well that it's almost hard to tell where the pink starts and stops. Then I'm going in with my favorite eyeliner. This is the LA Colors uh, liner. I don't remember the exact name of it, but everything's linked below. <laughs> but um, I'm just kind of smudging this into the top lash line. Normally I line my top waterline but in this case, for this look, I'm just smudging it into the top lash line. And then I couldn't really see very well how she did her liner. So I just did a very soft, gentle wing on the end. Um, nothing like overly dramatic. 
Um, but anyway, smudging into that blush line and then lightly lining the top line. I actually ended up going a little more heavy on this than I meant to. So kind of a thicker wing than I was going for. So maybe do it smaller or bigger if you like. Kind of line it however you want at this point. Because again, the picture is kind of hard to tell how she lined it. But I could see if she for sure lined the top line. Um, so I just lined the top, winged it out a little bit. And after doing this one so thick, I realized that the other one wasn't quite as thick. So I went back to the other eye and lined it a little thicker to match. Okay, apparently I lied. We're going in with one last eyeshadow just to set the eyeliner. It's the shade tonight from that same palette. And I guess this is technically using eyeshadow from the same palette again. I'm going in for my highlight using the shade Every Rose again. So apparently we were not at all done with the eyeshadows when I said we were. <laughs> but anyway, taking the shade Every Rose because I thought that'd make a really pretty highlight. And just popping that onto my cheekbones, uh, above the brow, my nose, and between my eyes. And up the top of my lips. Again, just everywhere. Again, JLo is always so glowy. So you got to be glowy. And then for mascara, I don't think she's wearing la false lashes. I think she's got a pretty thin layer of mascara. So I'm just going in with my mascara go-to routine, but I'm not doing it as thick as normal. So just doing one layer on the top and then light layer on the bottom. And then I'm going in with a second coat of mascara with my second mascara because that's just, I can't resist. <laughs> that's what I do. But anyway, really pretty pink and feminine. Finishing off with this very natural lip combo, I'm starting with a nude lip liner. This is from Revlon. Again, everything's linked below. But just lining my lips, I like to smile like this because it helps me slightly overdraw the lips without overdoing it. Um, so I just did a, a light line and then lightly filling it in and then smudging all that with my lips because, again, I don't want this to look like super harsh. Uh, just like smooth, soft, kissable, slightly more luscious than my natural lips. Popping on this pretty light pink lipstick from Wet n Wild. And finishing it off with a shimmery Maybelline lip gloss. And now I'm doing my best to recreate the hair look that she's got. I don't have the same haircut as she does. She's got these kind of curtain bangs going on and I don't. But I actually am tempted to cut some myself. <laughs> so maybe I'll attempt that. Maybe that'll be a bad idea. But I'm kind of tempted to do that and show you guys how it turns out. So let me know if that's something you're interested in. But anyway, she's got pretty long pieces pulled out in the front. So I'm pulling out these long pieces, pulling the rest of the hair back. And I found this one piece that was a little longer than I meant for it to be. So just picking it up and wrapping it back in with the rest of the hair as well. Then we're just doing a really easy wrapped bun. So taking the hair, wrapping it around itself into this little bun. Cause again, I couldn't see the picture super well. You only get a brief little glimpse into it, but this is the best that I could think to recreate it. So just securing that with the hair tie and then holding it in place while I'm tugging at it, loosening it up, making it as big as I want to, loose as I want to. So it's not looking too tight and small and too like prim. <laughs> I don't even know if that's the word I'm going for, but I like to be nice and loose and big. And I just think that looks better. So anyway, holding that in place, taking some bobby pins and just securing it in place. I'm kind of pinning it in all the different areas underneath just to make sure that the base of the bun stays in place. So I think I used about four bobby pins for this, kind of going in like a, a square motion, not motion, but like placing them in a square. You know, I, I used four in those areas just to keep the bun in place so it's not going to fall out on me. Now we just need to curl these front pieces. So I'm going in with this Kenra Thermal Styling Spray. Uh, this is really the way you're supposed to use heat protectant. You spray it onto the section before you, you curl it. So spraying it bottom to top and then brushing it out. And you wanna spray enough that it's coated, but not enough that it's wet. Your hair shouldn't be wet when you're styling it. So anyway, taking this barrel, I think this is like a one inch, maybe, something around there. Uh, just get like a big loose barrel and then wrap it around and don't hold it for very long at all. I even held it a little longer than I probably should have, could have, if you wanted to look exactly like JLo's. I mean, this still looks good, but it's just a little more curly than I meant. And I literally held it for like only three seconds. So I would hold it for less time in the future. Um, but I mean, this, again, this still looks good, but just taking those two sections, wrapping it around, holding it for three seconds max, and then dropping it and kind of tugging at it as well after I drop it to um, loosen it up. So it's not gonna set, wow, I couldn't think of the word. So it's not gonna set <laughs> as curly as I'd made it. 
And I think I did a better job on this side of holding it for less time. Like I literally held it for like one or two seconds. And I think it's because I knew that that piece of hair was a little thinner. So I knew it would hold a curl too tight if I held it for any longer at all. But anyway, I'm probably sounding really redundant at this point, but yeah, you're just, you're just wrapping it around, holding it for a little amount of time, letting it loose, and then kind of tugging at it, messing with it till you loosen it up more and get that softer curl look. Like I literally took these two pieces and like held them down tightly so that they could set down more loose. But yeah, here's the finished look. So romantic and beautiful and perfect for Valentine's date night. And of course I had to make the JLo duck face she's making in the picture. If you enjoy videos like this, then please subscribe for more. And while you're commenting below about your Valentine's day, also tell me celebrities and characters you're interested in seeing, because I really enjoyed making this video and I wanna keep doing things like it. But I wanna make sure I'm doing characters and celebrities that you guys are interested in too. So. Comment below, tell me about your Valentine's Day, and tell me celebrities and characters you're interested in. After you've done that, come check out these other makeup tutorials I've done. Thanks so much, and I hope you're having a wonderful day.